We'll now look at subsets. Our first question, what is a subset? And we say that a set A is the subset of a set B if and only if every element in our set A is also an element of B. And this is the notation we use. A is a subset of B. In addition, we can have what's called a proper subset. A proper subset means that A is a subset of B. However, A is not equal to B. And this we denote by this symbol. You can notice that the only difference is this bar underneath. This works similar to like a less than and a less than or greater than sign. Let's consider these three sets. We'll let A be equal to the set of integers. B is the set of natural numbers that are greater than or, greater than or equal to 50 and less than 200. And then C is the set 100, 150, 200, and 250. So first, I can say that B is a subset of A because every single element in B is also an integer. So we have that B is a subset of A. We can also conclude that C is not a subset of B. In particular, we can see that 250 belongs to C, but not B. So it cannot be a subset, since we would need everything in C to also be in B. In addition, on this first one, not only can we say that B is the subset, but we can also say it's a proper subset, because there are integers that are not contained in this set B, so they're not equal. Another thing we could say is C is a subset of C, since every subset is an, every set is a subset of itself. The next thing we'll look at is the size of a set. If we have a set S that contains N elements, then we say the cardinality of S is N, and this is written with absolute value signs. For example, if we have this set A that consists of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, then we can say that the cardinality or the size of A is 5, since there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements of A. The last thing we'll look at here is a power set. The power set is the set of all possible subsets that we could have. And this is denoted by a script P of A. Here we have the set A, which is equal to 0, 1, 2. So if I want to find the power set of A, well, the empty set is always a subset. And next we'll consider subsets of size 1. Well, we could contain one element. We could have zero, or one, or two. And those are all the possible ways we could have a single element. Now we'll think of two elements. I could have zero, one. I could have also taken zero, two, or one, two. And these are all the possible combinations of two elements. Finally, we'll do three elements and get 0, 1, and 2, and then that gets us to the end of the set. And this is the power set.